uh, if, if we can get something away from today is that with all these guys here, they're not models, they're not people I've rang modeling agencies for. These are people who live with a stoma just like me. Welcome to the video everyone. It's currently five o'clock in the morning. It's five o'clock in the morning. Because I am going to Birmingham today and I have to get a train at seven. So I will explain why I'm going to Birmingham today. I'll explain why I'm making this video in a bit. So let me get ready first. <laughs> So I'm ready, but I've got to get to Ashton train station in my car, then get a train to Victoria because there is no direct train to Piccadilly and then I've got to hop it across Manchester to Piccadilly station to get the train, meet Ted who has the ticket, who's the other person that I meet up with to go to Birmingham and then get to Birmingham. So it's 20 to 6 right now, let's hope I can make it to the station in time, hoping to make it from Piccadilly, uh, Victoria station to Piccadilly station in time and then get the right train. So let's go. So I've actually made it on time to the station, I've actually got 20 minutes to spare, just a bit, a little, little bit less. <laughs> so before I need to be at Piccadilly station so I'm in Victoria station which is on the other side of Manchester it's not much of a walk but I'm just gonna get a goddamn move on to make sure that I'm there on time so I'll catch you guys in Piccadilly <laughs> Just getting a Greg's. So I've got a bacon sandwich and I've got a pumpkin spice latte because I'm a basic bitch. Now I need to meet Ted, the other person who's coming with me to Birmingham. So, ooh. I'm gonna get this B's number, then I'm gonna go find Ted. So I made it on time. This is Ted. Say hello. Hey, hey, you all right? Where we're actually going is to Birmingham for a vanilla blush. Uh, what would you call it? We're going to a, to a booth. I'm really excited. I've never been to anything like this before. Never modelled for anything before. So it's a pretty new experience for me. Have you ever done it before? Uh, probably not. No? <laughs> so we're going to get on this train. We're going to have a long journey and get to know each other. So I'll see you in Birmingham. Made it. Yes, yes, we did. We made it, we made it on time. Yeah, yeah. 25 to 9, been up since 5. So, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's been up before most people. <laughs> Everyone's on their way to work, and we're on our way to a convention. So we're meeting Tom in the ICC and then I believe must, we must be doing the convention in here. Now we need to find the people that we're going to bump and meet up with. So we're all together now. Is it going now? Yeah, <laughs> going so now? Yeah. Everybody wave. Love it. So we're all together. We're all going to go and get into our attire, let's call it that. And uh, the enjoy. Circus Soleil. Doing the Circus Soleil, yeah. <laughs> so if you haven't guessed, I'm here with Vanilla Blush, who have reached out to me because they've seen my Instagram and uh, I have an iliostomy and they make her new support wear. They make underwear for people who have a stoma so that they can feel confident with it. And I think it's a great, great company that's doing really good work. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. <laughs> So the 
first half went really well. Um, I was wearing the support boxers and the support vest. Now I'm wearing the support vest and the normal boxers. As you can see, I got my legs out. But uh, it's been really nice. Been meeting a lot of stoma nurses, uh, talking to them about how you can get this on prescription. Um, this is the most people I've ever met with a stoma, which is awesome. I also bumped into Talia, who works for Coloplast. So I've actually met people who I've met online and now I've met them in person because of Nick who sorted this out. So really, really cool. I'm gonna carry on having a good day and I'll catch you guys later. say what I want. <laughs> so the reason why we exist and the reason why we're here today is to tell stoma care nurses when they next go and they next look at their patient who might be fearful, who might be ashamed or embarrassed, that they look at the images of all the people here today and they think I have a better way of approaching that patient now and make them feel a little bit better about themselves. Um, I think but another blush has been in operation now for nearly 10 years, well just over 10 years and we're very much a quality of life business. We like to bring dignity and respect back to the patient after they've had body disfigurement surgery. I like to do that whilst looking good and feeling good and and uh, yeah, that's what it, Vanilla Blush is all about. I think that we've set trends. We've, we were being the trailblazers. We were the people who instigated having bags out and people being confident about their bags. And that all started in 2008 when we launched live on national television. And uh, just gone from strength to strength. And uh, if, if we can get something away from today is that with all these guys here, they're not models. They're not people I've rang modeling agencies for. These are people who live with a stoma just like me. We, we, we walk in the same shoes of other people and that's what the nurses need to pick up on here is that we have voices, we have opinions, we, we want to have, be able to have a platform to raise those opinions and our voices and our concerns. So hopefully it's been a good day and the guys have done a brilliant job and you've enjoyed seeing what we do. Cheers! So we're having a great time, I'm changed again into the loungewear, uh, Kurt's still in not very much. Uh, Vanilla Blush has started to actually make a belt which is pretty awesome, but I'm not going to tell you much about it because it's not on prescription yet. It's going through all of the processes. So I'm going to wait for that to come out prescription stuff <coughs> and I will share more information about it then. But I'm having a really nice time. It's great meeting other people who have stomas. It's nice to speak to nurses and uh, share my experience with them so then they can pass on what I do to other patients because patients think, oh no, I have a stoma, you know, life's over, but it's not. You can do anything with a stoma, and that's what this channel is about. That's what I try and preach. You can do anything you want with a stoma. Don't let it hold you back. And, and it's an amazing thing you can have that gives you your life back. So we're going to carry on here, and I'll catch you guys at the end of this. Thanks for watching. So I'm back into my normal clothes, and we're done with the convention. But uh, I'm going to walk around a little bit. And uh, there's these bears with little little stoma bags on them that look amazing so I'm going to get one uh, sent to me everyone want to say goodbye and wave Yay. so we're all going <laughs> we're all going our separate ways Yay. mission accomplished yep all done we've got normal clothes on yeah. <laughs> you can have another everybody hug everybody stay well yeah. you do see well. you later yeah. see you in a bit take care bye bye, bye. 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 We're in Grand Central yeah, yeah. and we're just going to figure out where our train is and then we might get a drink before we jump on board. Cross country. Cross country. Thought so. Yeah. Good memory. So we're here in Nando's. Classic Nando's. Uh, going to get ourselves something to eat. It's about an hour before the train so why not get some food and I'll talk to you a little bit on the train. But today has been an amazing experience and I can't thank Vanilla Blush enough for inviting me to do this to be a part of their company for a day. Something I wanted to touch on while I'm on my own, Ted's gone for a smoke and we're about to go onto the platform is, it was kind of cool when we were sat with Kurt and we are having our meal that we're all like, all right, I'm just gonna go to the toilet because of the bag. Now, because we all have bags, we don't have to give the excuse of, oh, I have, I'm going for this. Now, I don't usually because most of my friends know I have a stoma bag, but it's the fact that you can just go, right, I'm just going to the loo and you know exactly 
why they're going just before they leave and why they probably went when they got there and it's not weird and I think that's really cool to be around people who do similar things and who have found their own way of dealing with it and you know you can pick up tips and stuff just by hanging out with people who are similar and I've got a bigger network of people that I can communicate with about tips uh, get advice from you know I just think that's really cool and I just wanted to share that on the on the video so we're gonna get the train and I'll talk to you a bit more there so, uh, so we finally made it to the train and this time I've actually got reserved seats instead of sitting in someone else's reserved seats so, uh, if you like this video please give it a like subscribe and uh, see all the links below for all of the things that I've showcased and I'll catch you guys in the next video Bye. Oh.